Hi there! Pairing all your devices on Zwift creates the best ride experience possible. We'll guide you through it. You've got the bike. You've got the trainer. Your bike is on the trainer. Now what? Now we pair your devices so you can start Zwifting. First things first, let's go over the essentials. Smart trainers connect to Zwift to calculate your speed and auto-adjust resistance based on the in-game terrain. Classic trainers use a power meter or speed sensor to calculate your speed. While some wheel-on trainers are classic trainers, you may have smart functionality. Now that we've covered those, let's pair them. On the pairing screen, choose Power Source if you have a smart trainer or are using a power meter. If you're using a speed sensor, choose Speed Sensor. Start pedaling. This will wake up the sensors. You should see the name of your device here. Click OK and you're all good. If you have a smart trainer, you'll see Controllable light up. Click on this so Zwift can communicate with your trainer so the trainer can adjust resistance to simulate the terrain. Cadence is optional. Some sensors, including smart trainers and some speed sensors, will also pair your cadence. Cadence is useful, but not required. Have a heart rate monitor? Let's add it. On the pairing screen, click or tap Search underneath Heart Rate. Choose your heart rate monitor when it appears. Click OK. To get the most out of your Zwifting experience, we recommend adding the Zwift Companion app. Simply download and log into the app on your iOS or Android device. It'll automatically connect when both devices share the same Wi-Fi network. Now you can chat with and send ride-ons to fellow Zwifters. What's that? You want to take your in-game rides to the next level and steer? We got you! Zwift supports multiple devices that allow you to steer. To pair a supported steering device, tap the steering icon after logging into Zwift and follow the instructions. And that's that! Thanks for watching! We look forward to seeing you in Watopia!